Pesach, Passover, is a remarkable holiday. It begins with Seder, which allows us to experience both slavery and freedom, as we tell a story that is at once ancient and modern. Through our ceremony, Seder, which means order, we retell the story of the Israelites' journey from slavery in Egypt to the Promised Land. We eat special foods that symbolize Passover's many messages and immerse ourselves in the traditions of Pesach, first celebrated more than 3,000 years ago. A wonderful meal with family and friends, discussions of contemporary issues, fun, the singing of songs, Seder night. Seder night is a night of memories to be shared, memories to be made, and it all begins with Once Upon a Time. In a world of power and mystery. They never told you? Who never told me what? You're our brother. I know who you are, and you are not a prince of Egypt. What did you say? Please, Moses, you must believe. That's enough. You were born of my mother, Yohebe. You are it. our brother. Our mother sent you adrift in a Here. basket to save your life. Save my life? From who? Ask the man that you call father. Nevertheless, Seder is more than the telling of the ancient, compelling story of our people's quest for freedom. Rather, we are asked to actually experience the bitterness of oppression and the sweetness of freedom, so that we may better understand the hope and courage of all men and women of all generations in their quest for liberty, security, and human rights. The magic of Seder night transforms the story of the exodus from Egypt into a time for creative reflection on the freedoms we seek in our own personal life. <laughs> captain, my captain! Oh, captain, my captain! Check out! Our tradition instructs us, each person in every generation must regard themselves as having been personally freed from Egypt. So it is on Seder night that the biblical story symbolizes many of the personal challenges to the freedoms we daily face.
As powerful as this message is, a message I hope we will take time to think and talk about at our Seder. For that is how we Jews learn, through debate, discussion, disagreement, and hopefully friendly argument. Up to now, we have only just begun discovering the magic of Seder night, the ingredient that makes Seder night unique among Jewish observances, goes beyond what is found in the Haggadah, and is family. More than any other holiday in the Jewish calendar, Seder night is the one universally observed. No matter where you travel in the Jewish world, it's hard to find a single Jewish household not celebrating Seder night. Even in the days of Soviet oppression, the Jews of Russia found a way to eat at least a symbolic piece of matzah. And in the darkest days of the Holocaust, this night of freedom gave hope. Still live, I still live with the thought of what happened. Looking for a miracle, maybe, maybe somebody is left they didn't want to do it. Or... Perhaps the reason for Seder night's singular importance has to do with where Seder is held, at home with family. When all is said and done, family is the beginning of a Jewish commitment, and in the end it is family to which we turn for the memories that form our spiritual commitment. Seder night holds a precious place in Jewish lives, from memories that form the bedrock of a Jewish commitment to the legacy we leave for our children and generations to come. Therefore, at our Seder this year, let's celebrate family memories. Let's set a chair at the head of the table, a place of honor we reserve for all those special people who once sat at our Seder table and whom in memory we recall. Throughout Seder's night, let us call to mind those moments when we laughed, sang, shared in Seder's past with some very special people. The Seder Memory Chair. Now it's your turn to remember. And not only remember, but ensure the continuity of our loved one's legacy by filling their place at the Seder table.